Well, hi guys, welcome to this um, PhD Life channel. So, what's going on with my PhD? So, it's the summer, as you can possibly tell. It's difficult in England. Um, and the time that it's supposed to be a little bit downtime, and even as a PhD person, that's supposed to happen. So, I've had difficulties with, um, with my mum having another heart attack, and I contacted my amazing supervisor, and I said, look, I'm not going to get my methodology chapter to you in September like planned. And I think I'm putting things off and putting things off. And it really is important to me. I really want to focus on that. So it's I need to carve out the time. I don't quite know where it's going to come from. But life, it feels quite tricky at the moment. It doesn't feel particularly easy. And there's a lot of things taking up my time that are making me feel quite negative, including my own health. Um. But I have become very, very clear lately in that what I want to do with my life is write the books. And part of the reason that I'm doing the PhD is to enable that to happen because I thought it would bring an income, which it hasn't really brought. Um, it, it Like my funding was rejected. I think I told you that. And I spoke to somebody clinical and she said, well, it's no wonder because what you're trying to do is say it's not just clinical. And I will stand by that. I will stand by that. It's um, it's not just clinical, is it? It's um, It's, you know... Well, hang on, you might not know what I'm talking about. So my project is about holistic health and how it affects you. Oh, my little dog is limping. My dog is limping. I must be in so much pain. Um, and uh, dogs are amazing. They really are amazing. They're so robust. Resistant. What's the word? Um, but I'm feeling, again, once again, I seem to talk to you when I'm feeling a little bit on the low side. But I am really grateful for this PhD opportunity. It's been amazing. It's opening up some new things. But at the moment, because of financial problems, I'm doing a lot of hours for the university working. And great as that is, it is also a little bit on the tricky side, um, trying to fit everything in and trying to keep my house nice and keep myself exercised and at the gym and I'm getting to that stage where I'm thinking I kind of want to give it all up like retire <laughs> just spend some time at the gym um I don't know where I'm going to go and what I'm going to do with this career from here I'm I'm just not too sure so I'm thinking academic I'm thinking about being an academic um doing some teaching here and there uh yeah don't know really it's a difficult one. It, it is difficult to know like, what's the best thing to do. Um, I don't know if any of this video is making any sense whatsoever. But everyone that I've listened to, they've all said, you know, PhD life is hard. And it is hard. It is quite tricky. But I'm at the moment weighing up things about my whole life because I've got problems with my Oh, I've got frozen shoulder at the minute. That's a new thing. And the pain in that is ridiculous. Um, so I've just had that um, ultrasound yesterday. And I've got to have injections in that. If you're someone that's had that done, do leave comments below. Um, but, and I'm just sort of like, all these things are guiding me towards being this person that, you know, takes life a little bit easier. I think, oh, I don't know. I don't know where my head's at today. Um, but anyway, I thought I just wanted to make a video because I've not done it in quite a long time and I thought it was probably time that I did. So there we go. There we go. That's it. That's that. That's me. Um, I am loving my PhD. It feels like completely the right thing. I'm loving the subject. I'm very behind. Um, and I don't quite know how I'm going to claw that back unless I can... I don't know my daughter's about to be offered well she's been offered two full-time jobs and so when she's at work I think I will find that I have a little bit more time in my day because we do spend a lot of time together which is lovely um we're going away next weekend for the first time in ages we're going on a dance weekend uh, and I think it's going to be fun I think I'm looking forward to that it'd be nice so but I just feel a bit all over the place with my life it needs streamlining or I need a routine or something because I'm just not getting things achieved. And my love life is giving me some heartache at the moment as well. So I'm feeling sad about that. But anyway, I will catch up with you later. Let me know if you're doing your PhD, what's it in. Um, yeah, and we'll we'll catch up.
next time. Um, I don't actually know what video I put up here last, so I'll have a little look and see if I haven't told you about my hermeneutic phenomenology course, which was blinking amazing. I will catch you up with that information and that news. All right, see you later. Take care. Bye for now.